Hey everybody, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Uh, in last episode, we built the house, built the storage, and built the rabbit cage. Uh, I don't know if I feel like putting together a previously on Medieval Dynasty a bit, but maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. First things first, let's go down here. Let's wash ourselves off. Gotta do the whole tea bag maneuver. And considering this is water, that's a more appropriate use of the word than uh, than otherwise stated. Let's go up here. We're gonna eat some apples. Because they're completely worthless, food-wise. And, um... Well, actually, I think we'll call it good with that. Okay, let's run up here and figure out what we have on the docket today. Now, last episode, we talked about getting some more buildings built. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll get the buildings built and then we'll go talk to Dobronega to, um, to start her quest. Now, what we had... Was it production? No, it was extraction. Extraction, okay. So there's a well. This'll probably want to be in the center of town or maybe we'll build multiples. Um, it would also make sense for that to go right next to the road for anybody who may need, you know, like a drink or something. There are obstacles blocking the building side. Okay, what about over here? We can put it right there. And that will be next to the road. And since there will be houses on this side and houses on this side, uh, I think that's good. So let's get it as close to the road as possible. And back uh, right there. Perfect. All right. See what we're going to need for this. Logs. So we're going to put that log down. And, well, I pick you. All right, so we need some more straw. So I'm gonna run over, oh, what the, I'm carrying too much. Okay, hold up, hold up. We'll drop that, we'll drop the firewood and the absolute ton of sticks that I have. And apparently we'll force push them out of the way as well. Well, let's go get some, uh, some reeds. All right, now that we have about a hundred straw, we should have enough to finish at least these two construction projects, and then we can go and do the uh, the quest for Dobronega. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we interact with it. Oh, we can drink directly? I don't have to put a bucket in there anymore. That's awesome. Okay. Um, let's see. We were going to craft one more thing. What was it? It was buildings, extraction, woodshed. We were going to craft a woodshed. Um, so let's find a good place. I want to put it kind of in the trees. I don't honestly know if it matters, but I know that once we assign somebody to it, they will um they'll start cutting down trees around the woodshed so let's see this looks like a good play that that's flat down there that'd be better for farmland so let's put the woodshed kind of that's a lynx i thought that was a fox that's a lynx sound cool um i'm gonna put the woodshed back here 
And then I think right here is where we'll end up putting the, um, the forester, like his house, once we have one, um, at least it's an idea. So we're going to put that right there. I like it. Oh, and we managed to generate a stone foundation. So we're going to need stones for that because if you look, it doesn't have any risers on it. So let me see if I can find a few stones. All right, I have the stones that I need. So we're just going to tap this into place. Uh oh, I don't have all the stones that I need because I'm an idiot like that. There we go. Uh, now we need six logs, because, of course, we need more logs for that than we did for the water well. Okay, let me chop those down. All right, we uh, we unlocked simple houses, and we unlocked another skill. Jeez, I'm sorry. I'll try to be better about jumping on these. Uh, let's see. Survival sense. We are going to grab survival sense because it allows... Well, just watch. Um and one more into that so every couple of levels you end up getting two points instead of just one and i got two that time so i put one in survival sense and one in survival knowledge and then over here under crafting knowledge we're obviously going to just jump on that and then we'll move our way down to the other stuff in a minute so uh here's what survival sense does now yeah, now I can see where all of the rocks and stones and everything are. Makes it so much easier to collect resources. Um, okay, let's put this down. Beautiful. And then we'll need one more log there and one more log there. But we have plenty of straw, so we are good there. Let's put the straw down. We'll cut down one more tree really quick. All right, our axe just broke. So now we're using our backup backup. So, boom, woodshed done. Now, um, if we go into here, we can craft planks or firewood at a rate of, I think it's one plank to a log, or maybe it's two planks. It's two planks to a log and it's either two or three firewood to a log so um i hope i don't forget because we'll end up needing that now there's one thing that i wanted to build in addition let's go here and decorations and miscellaneous we need six planks for a wash tub so let me go back here i'll cut down a tree harvest a few planks and be back with you in a moment All right, so we should have plenty of planks. <coughs> Excuse me. We should have plenty of planks for the wash basin now. Uh, I will put... Eh, who really cares about propriety right now? We will put the wash basin... Terrain is too uneven. Do you understand? Um, can I put it inside? Oh man, they still don't let you put it inside. Well, can I put it back here? No. Can I put it down? Really? I can put it. I can put it down there with a giant rock in it, but I can't put it up here near the house. That's irritating. Um. I can put it back there, but that's a little, a little further from the house than I'd like. Ah, whatever. I think we're going to see if it goes anywhere around here. Nope, nope, nope. All right, fine. Be that way. We won't build one right now. Um, not that we really need much of one. We can actually run and get, uh get stuff down at the river so let's put away some of our stuff but let's eat an oat roll because we were really low on health 
or low on uh, not health. <sighs> Let's put this away. So, um, F E F, F E F. That's how you get rid of all this crap. Now we're gonna keep the recurve bow and the iron arrows because I don't have anything else. We're going to put away the linen fabric. Okay. I think we're ready to go do Dobronega's quest. So I need to run back to Gustovia really quick. I'm going to get a drink and I will see you uh, at Gustovia. Here we are back in town. So there are a couple of other people with exclamation points. And then there's the golden one. I'm pretty sure that lady right there is Dobronega. Let's see what these other quests are and see if we can't fill a few of them. Because uh, they might be shorter than hers. I've just heard tell that hers is really long. So put on that. Not you. You, Alan. What can I do for you? Hi, my name is Rosimir. Uh, hi, I'm Elwyn. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? I came here from the south. I'm looking for a new place for myself where I can start a new life. Good luck to you then. As for me, I'm a farmer. My job is to cultivate fields. In fact, I do the same work every day, year by year. Doesn't it get boring over time? If I were you, I'd die of monotony. Of course it bores me. How long can you do the same thing in your life over and over again? But my family needs my help, and I'm doing my best to provide for them. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize. I am a little bit annoyed and short-tempered recently. There is a delicate matter that won't let me focus on my work. What's that, Alwyn? Maybe I could be of some aid. It may seem petty, but I'm really tired of my mother's conflict with Jaronegwa. Jaroniwa. Jarogniwa. Her son, Dalibor, won't leave my little sister, Olga, alone. I understand it's just a game to him. After all, when I was his age, I played with Dobromira, his older sister. I pretended to be a knight, equipped with a stick instead of a sword, but anyway, I managed to protect her honor. Like every knight does, it's adorable in its way. Anyway, let's get down to earth. I think he needs something to keep him busy and away from my sister. So that you could work with a clear mind again, huh? Oh, it would be nice indeed. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so Alwyn's story. Let's track that one. Deliver to Dalibor a stick. Okay. All right, let's go grab a stick. Um, I don't want to chop anything down in, in town in case that gets me in trouble. So let's grab that. And where is Dalibor? There he is. Little exclamation point above his head. I'm sure he's a little snot-nosed brat, and I'm going to beat him with the stick, right? That's right. You little turd. Delabor, hi. Hi, you're Delabor, right? Yes. You look strong for your age. Have you ever thought of becoming a knight? It's my dream. Are you a knight? No, but I know quite a lot about them. Did you know that many of them started learning to fight with a wooden sword at your age? Where could I get such a sword, not a knight? It just so happens that I have one with me and I can give it to you because you're clearly worthy. I'm honored. It may look inconspicuous, but it is certainly an excellent practice weapon for an aspiring knight like you. Give a stick. It looks a bit like a regular stick. To surprise your opponents. And do you know what else knights do decide besides fighting battles? They ride horses? This as well. But most of all, they protect the ladies and children from danger and make sure that no harm is done to them. Really? Sounds like a lot of work. Yes, but this is the most important principle of chivalry. All right, thank you for the sword, not a knight. Now I'm going to defend those in need. You're welcome, young master. You're welcome. Ooh. 
Well, all right. Let's go tell Alvin his uh, worries are over. Did I seriously come into town when it is uh, like almost nighttime? Yeah, I did. Uh, we might end up making a campfire out outside of town to uh, <laughs> to sleep through the night. I literally just picked up this episode where the last one left off. I just saved it. And well, here we are. Dude, where the hell did you go? I thought you were a farmer. Why are you so far away? Oh, because <laughs> I'm an idiot and I'm not going the right way. My bad. What are you doing? Ah, shooting the shit with your buddy. I get it. Hi, I've sorted your problem with Delabor. Yes, I saw him running around the village with a stick. You must have an amazing gift of persuasion. The young one does not listen to anyone. You gave me an idea with a stick and the story about a knight. By the way, I got this bread from Dobermira as an apology for her brother's behavior. But I think you've earned it here. Take it. Thank you. No problem. It's the most refined bread you've eaten. Our Castellan's wife makes it at the local tavern. Oh, do you happen to know the man in charge, Unigost, as well? No, not really. I spend most of my time in the field, and our paths only cross when it's time to pay taxes. Oh, all right. See you soon. All right, so we're done with his quest, which requires us to wait for next summer. So I'm going to get enough sticks uh, to build a campfire, and I'll literally sleep right here outside of town. And I'll be back with you in the morning. All right, so now that it's morning time and we have, you know, a little more time in the day to actually do anything... Uh, let's check on one or two more of these quests. Let's avoid doing the Dobromira one. Or Dobroniwa one. Um, so we don't want the yellow one. We want the other one. So we're going to go after... Actually, let's just do the long quest now that we have the full part of a day. Hey, talk to me. Hello, what can I help you with? No, I'm sorry, I won't do the voice, I promise. Hi, you're Dobroniga, right? Nice to meet you, I'm Rasamir. That's right, nice to meet you too, Rasamir. What brings you to me? Unigas told me that you can fix me up with some food. I haven't eaten a proper meal in weeks. Well, it depends on what proper means to you, but I can offer something warm and filling. That sounds more than amazing. Well, there you go. Now, tell me something about yourself. How do you know my husband? There's nothing much to say, really. I've just arrived in the valley looking for my uncle, Jordan. Didn't expect to be done searching so quickly, to be honest. Oh, yes, he was Unigas' friend. I remember now hearing that he had eyes just like yours. I'm sorry about your loss. That's okay. I don't even remember him, really. Most of what I know about him is from my mother's stories. She always looked up to her big brother, loved him furiously, even when he stopped visiting. Lots of people did, from what I heard. There was something special about him. Yeah? Tough shoes to fill, huh? The only shoes you need to worry about filling are your own. Every man is the architect of his own fortune. Thank you for saying that. It's what's it's what I needed to hear. But let's not talk about me anymore. What's your story? I was part of a traveling band of troubadours. I never managed to learn how to play an instrument, but I was pretty decent with my singing. Our travels brought us to this valley not long after the death of your uncle. I still remember seeing you in Agost for the first time. He had so much sadness in his eyes. Jordan wasn't just a friend of his. He was part of him. The band left a few days later. I stayed. There was something in Unigas' presence that I simply knew my place was by his side. You probably noticed the age difference. Uh, honestly, until you brought it up? No, not really. What? Are you implying that I look old? Nothing of the sorts. Anyway, though, it looks like you were abandoned, uh, anchored here by love. That's pretty amazing. Yes, you could call it that, or blindness or stupidity. Poor judgment, maybe. Whatever sounds best to you. Pretend all you like. You fell hard for the grandpa with the sad eyes, and you know it. I did. He annoys me sometimes like nobody else, yet I can't imagine breathing without him now. But don't let me go all soft on you. You surely have some places to go. It was a pleasure talking to you, Dobronega. Here, I know it's not much, but it'll come in handy when starting a new life. Everything costs coins these days. I really appreciate it, but I'm not looking for charity. I'll manage. Oh, come on. Don't try to be a hero. <sighs> Men, all right, do something for me then, and it won't be a handout, just your first pay. That we can agree on, what do you need? There's a farmer in the village, she's called Jaroniwa. 
She usually supplies the tavern with rye, but I haven't gotten anything from her in a while. My stock is almost gone, and you don't want to even imagine what would happen to these people if we run out of beer. Consider it done. While we're speaking of beer, Unigos asked me to grab a couple for us. Of course, here you go. Great, thank you. He promised to tell me some stories about Jordan. Oh, I see. Well, in that case... She gave some oat ale, too. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so let's go drink with... Let's go drink with Unigost really quick. Uh, probably not really quick. In fact, I'm probably going to be all tipsy after this, but whatever. And then we'll uh, go hunt down her rye. Rosimir! Hey, Unigost. You're looking at the proud house owner from the valley, and I'm back bearing beers. A job well done indeed. All right, let me wet my throat with this samber goodness and start reminiscing. I knew Jordan for 22 years before he died. He was my best and truest friend. A brother, actually. I remember the day we met as if it was yesterday. I was 25 at the time, living in the big city of Yallenberg, where I was born. You could say I hated the place, but still, it was the only home I ever knew. Maybe someday I'll tell you more about that. Anyway, I was forced to take care of my own, so I did, doing the only thing I could do. Dealing. So you were a thief? I was, and a bloody good one, some might say. Picking pockets was my bread and butter. I could steal a piece of steak right from your fork and you wouldn't even notice. It wasn't greed that motivated me, just survival. But I'd be lying if I say I didn't enjoy the process. Stealing is still a crime no matter the motivation. I'd say you'll want to wait and hear a bit more before getting all high and mighty on me. I'm sorry, go on. We had an annual festival in Yellenburg. It always brought a whole bunch of outsiders to town. You can imagine what it meant for a man in my profession. I could do a day's worth of work in a matter of minutes. I grabbed a few coins here and there, some jewelry, a pair of new boots, and then I saw a nobleman with a money bag strapped to his belt. It was basically begging to be set free. I sneaked behind him in the crowd like I did a thousand times before. Child's play. I gently grabbed his pouch, did a little shimmy magic, and there it was sitting neatly in my palm. I just needed to turn around and disappear like always, and then wham! I was punched in the face by what felt like a bull, and I was so shocked, I didn't even realize what happened until I hit the ground. My head was pounding, I could barely see straight, and you know what the first thing I saw next? Another blow coming? <laughs> no. A smile. A big, radiant smile on the face of the man with two different eyes. It was your Uncle Jordan. The one I took for a nobleman. He stuck his hand out, helped me get up, and offered me a beer. <laughs> just like that? Just like that. I don't get it. That's just how Jordan was. You see, your uncle was deadly clever. Smartest man I've ever known, hands down. He could see the world like nobody else. Predict things. He was always at least a dozen steps ahead of anyone else. So, on a rare occasion that somebody surprised him, he was intrigued. And he wasn't expecting you? Indeed. Apparently, even despite my failure, I was still the one that came closest to robbing him, and he liked that. So I'm guessing you accepted his invitation, right? I didn't really have a choice, did I? I was terrified of the guy at that moment, so we went. He took me to the most expensive and most crowded tavern in the whole town. Remember that it was the day of the festival. Even entering that place was next to impossible. He didn't seem to care, though. In a matter of seconds, we were sitting at a table being served by two barmaids at the same time. It was surreal. In my mind, there was only one explanation. He owned the place. And did he? Not at all. It was the first, it was his first time in Yellenberg. It all felt like a dream, to be honest, especially with me still being dazed after the punch. I was still sure he was a nobleman. His manner, his clothes, and the way he talked and moved. And then he chugged a beer like it was a race, wiped his face on his sleeve, and burped like a drum. He went from the Lord to the Savage, just like that. I, re I, re <clears throat> I relived that moment a dozen times until I realized why he did that. It wasn't a mistake. Oh no. No laziness, no moment of weakness. He wanted me to see it. To understand it. Understand what? 
that he was full of crap. <laughs> you see, Rasamir, your uncle was one of a kind. He was a true master of arms, and his weapon of choice was his confidence. Imagine a closed door with two armed guards at the side. And you want what's inside. What are your options? You can force yourself in, bribe the guards, try to pick the lock. But Jordan, he just holds his head up high, walks in, and demands the door to open. You were right. That all sounds surreal. I never knew that about my uncle. My mother's stories were quite different. Because I'm afraid she knew a quite different Jordan than me. Than everyone in the pack. Wait, the pack? Oh dear, Rasamir. There is so much more you still don't know. Our story hasn't even really begun, but it's getting late. Dude, I just slept through the night. It's the early morning. Come on, you can't just leave me hanging like that. All right, I'm going to tell you a bit more. After that beer we had, we had a couple more and some mead, if I remember correctly. We were talking about our past, our dreams, convictions. Started making some drunk and absurd plans. I thought we were joking, to be honest. But the next thing I remember, I was walking up I, I, the next thing I remember is waking up in silk sheets. I'm guessing they weren't yours, correct? Are you kidding? It was the first time I'd ever touched fabric like that. The ceiling of the chamber was so high, it could fit a giant. I thought I was dreaming. Then the servants walked in. I was ready to flee, but instead of fighting me, they presented me with breakfast. Really? How come? It was all Jordan's doing. I never found out how he managed to pull it off. Whenever I asked, he just burst into laughter. Even years after, needless to say, I left Yellenberg with him on that day. The first time I went outside the town's walls and never came back. That was the day the pack was born, and three years later there were five of us. A real team. A family. We called ourselves the Reminders. Oh, how I wish I could have been there. It sounds incredible. I've never had any adventures like that, and probably never will. Easy, my boy. It wasn't always fun and lovely, but it's a tale for another time. It really did get late, and I'm sure you still have a lot of work to do. Come and find me tomorrow, and we'll talk some more. I'll do that. Thank you, Unigost, for everything. All right, so one thing that I want to point out to you, if you go into your journal and you click on... Um, you click on one of these. I noticed this when I was looking in the uh, last chapter. Years left until questline expiration, 18. So we don't have to finish these in a super short amount of time. So waiting for the next day can literally be a couple of days or episodes from now. Um, for now, we need to go back here, go to Dobronega, track that quest, and then find the woman who owes her some rye. Wait a second, is that a... Is this a kitchen? Be welcome, stranger. Whatever you need, I've got it. Oh, that's new. That's awesome. Um, food. Expensive food, but food. I wonder if... Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Um, and they voiced them, too. They used to not have voices of any kind. That's... Cool. Yes, moo to you, too, cow. All right, up here, let's see. Is this a woman? Is that a woman? Yes, it is a woman. Okay. Hello. Hello, Jaroniwa. I've been sent by Dobronega. What for? Um, I heard you were the one who supplies ride to the tavern. Is that right? So, are you always this charming to strangers, or am I special in some way? Forgive me. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just dealing with some personal issue. I don't want to intrude. Just wanted to ask about the rye situation. Or should we ask her, is everything all right? Let's ask her if everything's all right. I don't want to bother you with my problems. You're not bothering me. I'm eager to listen, and you'd like, uh, if you'd like. Well, a long time ago, I made a major mistake, and the consequences for that decision are troubling me now. I swear to God, if you say you had a baby, I'm going to punch you. What kind of mistake? Marrying an idiot. Ah, well, that that's acceptable. <laughs> I understand. Believe me, you don't. How exactly does his doubtful intellectual prowess trouble you? Last night, he was supposed to sell one of our cows in market. I told him specifically the price he should sell it for. We need coins now more than ever. And can you guess what he comes back with? The cow? A handful of seeds. And someone told him they were magical. Magic seeds. Can you imagine? Moron. Was there anything extraordinary about the seeds? They weren't even seeds. It was just a bunch of rabbit droppings. I'm going to lose my mind because of that man, I swear. I would love to say something uplifting right now, but damn, he really does sound foolish. Can I do something to help? 
Thank you. That's what I needed to hear. There's nothing for you to do, sweetie, but I appreciate the offer. Letting me vent a little was more than enough already. It was a pleasure. So can you tell me more about the rye situation now? Unfortunately, we won't be able to provide the rye this time. The crops are all diseased and pretty much unusable. As if I didn't have enough problems already. But don't worry, I ordered a delivery of rye from Rolnica. It shouldn't. It should have been here yesterday, actually. I don't know what happened. Nadar is usually very prompt. Maybe you could go see him and check if everything is alright? That's what I'm going to do then. Take care. Alright, where is Rolnica? Rolnica is way the hell over here, so we're going to zoop right over there. I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to deal with it, and I'll see you when we get there. Oh, hey. Well, shows how much I pay attention. There's our house right there. Right there in the distance. Whee! Uh, and there's a cart right here uh, that I totally didn't see. Is that a water skin? Ooh, I will take. And a stone knife. Can't complain there. And a little bit of leather. Um, how are we doing inventory-wise? We are half full on our inventory. Let's empty out our inventory a little bit and then uh, we'll get back on the road. So give me a minute. Okay, I emptied out my inventory just a little bit. We're going to get a quick drink and we're going to eat some of the food that's in our inventory. And then we'll get back on the road. Is that the same cart? Okay. That is the same cart, and I am going to go wash off in the water really quick, because if you look here, my dirtiness is up to 38%. I'm pretty sure if I just get in the water and crouch down for a moment, which, by the way, there's no oxygen statistics, so you can do this forever, but, uh, yeah, it cleans you off to 100%. You know, saying nothing for the fact that we end up... Uh, <laughs> we end up drinking from that. Uh, oh, look, sacks. <clears throat> Never thought I would uh, get to say that. So hops and something else. I wonder what those are laying there for. Cool. All right, see you in a minute. Or not. There's another cart right here. As long as there's interesting carts to look at, I guess I'll keep coming back to you guys. So there's... Some wheat. Is there anything else? Um, okay, I don't see anything else. We're good. Okay. All right. See you at the next card, I guess. All right. Here's the next cart. So what's it got? What a... There's a real torch, not a simple one, and a, ooh, a copper spear. We're going to definitely rot. Uh, is that used for fertilizer? Type of crafting material create food by created by food rotting over time. It can be used for crafting fertilizer. Okay. I was kind of grasping at straws. I have never really done the farming in this game. Anyway, moving on. All right, I'm thoroughly convinced at this point that I'm just going to have to put together a bronze shearing scissors. Cool. Um, I'm going to have to put together a like compilation montage of me just finding carts. <sighs>
All right, here we are in Ralnica. So where do we Nadar? There we go. Uh, open the door. That's right. Push through. Hey, Nadar. Hello. What can I help you with? I was asked to check on a ride delivery that was supposed to go to Gustovia. Are there any setbacks? So he hasn't even reached Gustovia yet. That's worrying. What happened? I sent one of my workers with the parcel yesterday. He should have been back here already. There were never any problems with this route before. Something must have gone wrong. I'm already involved in the situation, so I could go and try to find him. I'm traveling from here to Gustovia, but maybe I missed something uh, somewhere on the way. Would you do it? That would be extremely help you, f helpful of you. I hope that he's okay. Let's not waste time then. Okay, so we're going to have to go to that marker up there. I will see you when I get there. Okay, so... Oh, crap, it's one of these. Um, so we're inside the search radius for this guy, I guess. Where? So if... The direct route from Ralnica to Gustovia is to go on this road, low, this lower road here. Why do I have a feeling that this upper road is the way he would have gone? Because he would have gone to Denica and then down to Gustovia. I, I don't know. We'll look around. We'll follow the road, see if there's a dead guy on the road, and see what else. Hmm... I mean, I don't suppose one of these was his, right? I don't know, maybe. Oh. Um. That's blood. So there's more blood. Do I see that? No, I don't see that on my tracker. Okay. So we just keep following the shiny blood. You look off in the distance, you see the shiny spot there and there. We'll just follow this stuff, see where it takes us. That's cool. I don't know that I saw that before. If it was there, I don't know if all this generates when you create the world. Hey, wait. Uh, blood's right there, but there's something I can steal. Uh, stone, iron ore, stone, cudgel. I'm going to leave all of that because I know that's going to be a little heavier, so... Blood. Blood. Let's pull out my torch with F. Where? Oh, there he is. Um, there's his blood, but th there he is. Alright, dude. Uh, please help me, I'm badly wounded. Damn, you are bleeding a lot. I've been attacked. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. You're Nadar's worker, aren't you? The one who's supposed to deliver to the ride to Gustovia? I think there's more important things going on right now. That's right. Here, take the parcel if you want. Just please, get some help. Uh, take this. It could help with the pain. Oh, so we can actually give him a bandage. Cool. And thank you, stranger. I'm on my way. Try to keep pressure on the wound. All right, I'm going to run back to Nadar. Hopefully not get eaten by something in the middle of the night here. Um, I'm going to treat this. I don't know if there if it's actually like time sensitive and there's a hidden like 15 minute timer and then the dude dies or something. So I'm going to go through the night to get this part of the quest done and go from there, I guess. All right, so get out of my way, damn it. Oleg. Uh, I don't think Dar has moved from this spot, which might be why his workers do all the work. But here we go. Hello. About the ride delivery. Yes. I found your man wandering the road. He's, he's been attacked and needs help. So we could have lied. Hmm. Oh, my. I'll send something promptly. Someone promptly. 
I gave him some medicine. He should be able to pull through. Thank you so much for your help. Will you handle the delivery of the rye? I don't know when I... Sure. Don't worry about it. You're amazing. Here are some coins for your help. I'm going to say keep it. Keep it. The worker needs it more. You're a true hero. I wish you the best. Same to you, Nadar. That gave us a little reputation, which I think is more important. Uh, now, I'm going to travel through the night. So I'm going to cut this. Um, and I'm going to sleep when I get to my house, and then we'll do the rest of this during the daytime. See you in a minute. All right. Uh, finally made it back home. And uh, let's see. We are hungry. So let's eat. Uh, not the rot. We'll eat the oat roll. And how we do it. We'll get some of this. Goodness. There we go. Water. Perfect. Uh, we're going to run down, take a quick bath, and then go into town. Why is my screen shaking like that? That's weird. Um, we're going to take a bath, then we'll get into town. I'll see you in town. All right, here we are back in town. Uh, let's talk to... What is it, Dobronega? Yep. Where is she? Inside the house. All right, perfect. Welcome back. Did someone order a rye delivery? Let me check my list. Everlasting Youth, World Peace, Extinction of Mosquitoes, Rye, yes! Here you are, my beautiful lady. Rasamir, you know that flirting with a married woman is punishable by lashing, don't you? Uh, I, uh... You're too easy. And you're horrible. <laughs> Did you find any problems along the way? A few, but nothing a big-time adventurer like myself can't handle. I'm sorry for the slain dragons already. You should. The werewolves definitely weren't happy about it. Here's your payment, conqueror of this simple errand. I bid you farewell as a wealthy man in that case. Take care, Dobronega. <laughs> All right, cool. So, I think... What the hell is wrong with that kid? Um, hey, somebody, I think he's got full hose uh he needs a diaper change all the kids need diaper changes oh that kid just pulled something out of his oh wait it's a toy it seriously looked like he just pulled something out of his butt <laughs> all right so we got a lot done today we finished the quest for dobernega at least dobernega's first quest uh, we have the Unigast, uh, Unigast story quest uh, that we will start next time. We may not finish it, but we'll start it and we'll get one or two more buildings built and then we'll sleep through the end of the spring and wake up in the summer where we can continue on the main quest. So if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those things. Join me on Twitter and Discord. Doesn't cost you anything, and it shows a little extra support for the channel. Check out my Patreon if you're feeling generous. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.